Tomahawk TV News, Montec County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. Welcome back, Montec County. It's time for this week's edition of Tomahawk TV News. We hope you enjoy this week's stories. First off, we have the weekly music review with Alex Sampson and Anthony Rodriguez. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tomahawk's Moment for Music. This week we're going to be talking about someone that we've lost recently in the music world. We've lost Prince Nelson. He was 57 and he died on April 21st this year. Thank you guys. Next, Kieran Gibbs has his review of the newest Jungle Book movie. Welcome to the Movie Dumpster, the segment in Tomahawk TV News where I, Kieran Gibbs, tell you what's worth seeing and what's not. Come on Mowgli, let's be on our way. But I'm helping Baloo get ready for hibernation. Bears don't hibernate in a jungle. Not full hibernation, but I nap a lot. A few weeks ago I reviewed the 1967 animated Jungle Book in anticipation for the 2016 live action release. Well it's here folks and yours truly saw it. The Jungle Book was adapted to the screen by writer Justin Marks and director Jon Favreau. The film is based both on the novel written by Rudyard Kidling and the 1967 animated film that shares the same name. It stars Neil Sithy as Mowgli, a young boy who was raised as a wolf and lived harmoniously in the jungle until Shere Khan, the tiger portrayed by Idris Elba, begins hunting him. Along the way, Mowgli meets Baloo, who is portrayed by Bill Murray. The rest of the film chronicles his many adventures and the obstacles that he has to overcome as the only human in a jungle full of predators. Overall, the movie is great. It does a wonderful job of creating its own distinct story while still making reference to the 1967 classic. It certainly is a darker turn for the story, however. Shere Khan is seen as a very menacing and quite malevolent force for Mowgli to overcome. He is certainly one of the darkest villains Disney has presented in recent memory. Also, first-timer Neil Sethi delivers quite a believable performance as Mowgli. He has a bright future ahead of him in the world of film. Also, King Louis is scurry. How do you know that? Kid, I got ears. My ears got ears. I give The Jungle Book five tomahawks out of five. This has been Kieran Gibbs, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Kieran. Nokona Middle School students are representing Nokona at the TAME Science and Math State Contest. These students advanced out of district and will comp be competing. Three students at the middle school will be at the contest. These include Trey Pepper, Maddie Ferguson, and Corbin Patterson. Congratulations for advancing and good luck at state. Next is Macy Melton with the weather. Hello and welcome back to Tomahawk Weather. This week will be sunny compared to the past two weeks with only a slight chance of rain every day. Temperatures will drop to the upper 60s but then rise slowly before hitting the 80s at the end of the week. Humidity could be high all week, especially Monday and Tuesday, but the wind will be more mild in the middle of the week. Last week, Texas and its surrounding areas prepared for weather that was way less severe than originally thought. Upon looking at the radar, it was not expected for the storm to form a line which would make it less severe, but it did. Still, a couple of tornadoes were formed both in Texas and Oklahoma. Large hail and strong winds also categorized these storms. The Gulf Coast was also affected by some storms last week, and the National Weather Service issued preliminary evacuations due to flash flooding last Thursday. Thank you for watching this week's Tomahawk Weather. I will see you back next week. Thank you, Macy. Up next, Jocelyn Wadlow and Connor Barrett have the trending videos in the Weekly Viral. Welcome to the Weekly Viral Review, in which we tell you what's been recently trending on the internet. I'm Jocelyn Wadlow. And as you can tell, Connor's not here. It's because we don't like him. Our first video comes from Twitter of what happens when you get old. 
I just can't walk that fast. I just can't. The funny man on Twitter did a cute video of a walrus talking. I Speak. <laughs> and since the Wildcats start their second round of the playoffs this weekend, here's a video of Jeff Baum's amazing shot last week that went right through the net. Here's the intercept. Here comes Jeff Baum. Cooper's that couple's back. Baum unloads. Did that go in? That looked like it went through the net. Jeff Baum pointing. He wants a review of some sort. I'm not sure what happened there. I saw the net move. I can't see how it's physically possible for that to have happened without it going through the net. And given Baum's shooting ability, I wouldn't be surprised if that puck went through it. And the referee says that's a good goal. Jeff Baum with his second of the night. What a bullet. And last but not least, our adorable animal video of the week comes from typical girls of parrots dancing. And that's it for this weekly viral review. And remember, no Kona High School. Don't watch Kona on sports. Thank you guys. As usual, Zach Boyd has all of the answers to your questions in the segment Just Ask Zach. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Just Ask Zach. I'm your host, Zach Boyd. Our first question comes in from at Pipulicious15 asked, Why are you always missing school? Why are you always at school? Yeah. Not a very good work ethic, but okay. Yeah. Our next question comes in from at JakeDingler7 asked, How fast can you say the alphabet? Okay. I'm going to stop you right there. The question isn't really how fast he can say them, but like how far he can get in them. Because he usually gets stuck around K. That's kind of a hard one for him. Shut up, Connor. You can't put me on the spot like that. Our next question comes in from at Desi underscore Ray 17 asked, How is your day going? Uh, woo! My day's going pretty good. Thanks for asking, Desiree. Yeah. You're a nice person. Appreciate it. Our next question comes in from at Braden Skinner asked, Have you seen my senior pictures yet? No. Thank the Lord. Dodge a bullet there. Whew. No thanks. Whew. Our last question comes in from at Breeze 33 asked, How pumped are you for basketball next year? Super pumped. Ooh. School spirit. Yeah. Well, that's it for this week's segment of Just Ask Zach. Please send in more questions at Just Ask Zach on Twitter, and I'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Great answer, Zach. Make sure to submit your questions to Just Ask Zach on Twitter. Madeline O'Neill and Emily Flores have all of the fashion news you need. <laughs> This week's segment of MLG, Make It Look Gucci. I'm Emily Flores, and with me today once again is Madison Cameron. Starting with our Gucci category. <laughs> First up on our Gucci list is Jessica Alba. A solid black bandeau with a floral printed jumpsuit is a very risky outfit, but looks really well on her. I love how she continues her color scheme in her makeup and hair. Next up is Olivia Wilde. This dress is so stunning, and her effortless fishtail is something every girl dreams of. It's pretty difficult to pull off different patterns in one outfit, but she looks fantastic in it. And once again, our Gucci list is Madison's fave, not mine, Kendall Jenner. Even wearing tennis shoes and tussled hair, Kendall looks effortlessly glamorous. Kendall is legit goals. And wrapping up our Gucci category is Zendaya. The pattern, color palette, hair, and makeup, and of course the folds of the dress are perfection. This is simple perfection at its finest. Now here is Emily's favorite category because she gets to be the judgmental brat we truly know her to be. No shame. First up on Gucci Guilty is Sarah Hyland. To me, it looks like she just covered herself with two giant bibs. Wow, I couldn't have said it better myself. Next up is Lord or a Lord lookalike. Did a bunch of moths just die on her dress? What happened? Her dress is terrible and her makeup is way too dark. Do yourself a favor, Lord lookalike, and please fire your stylist. Next up is Macy Williams. What is up with women having a bunch of crap just like stapled to their dress and just thinks it looks cute? Newsflash, sweethearts. Unless you are a Kardashian or a Jenner sister, then it does not look cute. Preach. Have the girl in this picture burn those hideous shoes. Last on Gucci Guilty is Emily Blunt. 
This honestly looks like an ugly blue tablecloth with armholes cut into it. How can someone usually so pretty look absolutely hideous thanks to their poor choice of clothing? And BT dubs, I'm the best Emily out there and I never look like trash. Yeah. So. And, yet, and yet again, another school dress code has gotten my attention on social media. This week's note reads, when you interrupt a girl's school day to force her to change clothes or send her home because her shorts are too short or her bra straps are visible, you are telling her that hiding her body is more important than her education. You are telling her that making sure boys have a distraction-free learning environment is more important than her education. You are telling her that boys are more entitled to an education than she is. These school dress code notes are all too true. Shorts are meant to be short, hence the name, shorts. Who cares if my bra strap is showing? I'm a 16-year-old girl. Of course I'm going to be wearing a bra. Go ahead, look at it. It's cute. I paid a lot of money for it. Ranting over. And that's all for this week's MLG. And remember, dress classy, not trashy. Thank you, girls. Austin Waters and Dylan Parker are back with their se video game segment. Hello, I'm Dylan, and this is Austin, and welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Gaming News. This week, we'll be looking at our first Wii U game that we've done so far. It's called Pokemon Tournament. This is a new Pokemon game that changes the way that you play Pokemon. Instead of being the trainer, you are the Pokemon battling other people who are other Pokemon. In the game, there is a limited number of Pokemon you can be, but it is still fun to play. You battle other Pokemon in a round-based battle to see who can win two rounds first. You have long range battle and short range battles. You can continuously switch between the two. Different moves activate different phases that change the style of fighting that your Pokemon does. You also have mega evolutions and once you mega evolve, you can activate your special move. And every Pokemon has a different special. This is very entertaining and it will keep you interested for hours. Now for gaming news. While we are talking about things to do with the Wii U, Nintendo announced that their next console will be launched March 2017. As of now, they have codenamed the console NX, so be on the lookout for more information on that. There was also some leaked information on Activision's next Call of Duty. As of now, it's supposed to be Call of Duty Infinity Warfare to be released November 4th, 2016, so be on the lookout for that. That is it for this week. Next week, we'll be looking at another Wii U game that has been very popular and is tons of fun. Check back next week for everything to do with gaming. Now, Sabrina Matthews and Kiana Hayes have their weekly field report. Hands of Tomahawk TV News. Saturday, April the 22nd, the Nakona Choirs went to the Nighthawks indoor football game in Wichita Falls, where they were asked to sing God Bless America and the National Anthem before the game. We got with one of the students to ask them how it went. This is the second year that the Nakona Choirs have been invited to sing the National Anthem and God Bless America at the Nighthawks Arena football game in Wichita Falls. I think we all really enjoyed it because it's a way for us to get out in public since not very many people in the school even know there's a choir. We don't really do much. I don't think anyone was really nervous. Uh, we're all really comfortable around each other and we all really enjoy singing with each other. I think we all had a lot of fun because it was kind of a time for us to just hang out with our friends and watch a football game. and. We got to hang out with each other for quite a while. It's kind of a bonding time for us, too. I think we did really well since we were super familiar with the songs and we're really comfortable with singing with each other and it was a lot of fun. This has been Kiana Hayes with Tomahawk TV News, coming at you from Nakona High. Welcome to Tomahawk Sports. I'm Connor Barrett filling in for Cole this week. In local sports news, Rachel Patrick and Maria Hernandez advanced on and competed at the regional track meet last week. Baseball and softball have come to an end, sadly. And 7-on-7 seven -seven football will start very soon. In national sports news, the NFL draft was last week, 
but because we are filming this prior to the draft, I will have more on it next week. With the first pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Jared Goff, quarterback, California. The Goff Wentz question has finally yielded a result and an answer. It's Jared Goff. And uh, for this week's portion of Extreme Sports or Extreme Sports, we see Steven Souza Jr. make an insane diving catch. The shot back into right center field. Souza! Oh, what a grab! Souza Jr. into right center field. And a leaping grab out of the air. Wow. And that's it for this week. I'm Connor Barrett signing off for Tomahawk Sports. Yeah, it's Dale with the Dale Show. Hi, boys. Let me know where she's coming. When she's coming in and where she's coming from. Here we go. <laughs> All right, howdy, y'all. This here's Dale. This week, I'm going to talk to y'all about the weather, man. <clears throat> because, as y'all know, i got plenty of talents. This may not be about long tractors, new land, cooking, nothing like that, but this here... It's one of my favorite ones, chasing tornadoes and hail and all that crazy weather coming around this part. I'm going to tell y'all something I can tell very many people. I can about read the weather. I can read the freaking sky better than most people can read a book. And it's kind of crazy. It's kind of a God-given thing. But I'm not going to brag to y'all or nothing. But whenever the suckers start whipping and slipping, I'm the one here. They call 1-800-CALL-DALE. You know what I'm talking about? I can about tell you where that sucker's going to hit and what time she's going to hit and when she's going to be there, because that's what I do. You got that William H. running around school here, and I ain't going to lie to y'all, he don't know squat. He learned everything from Dale, or he tried to, but he didn't pay attention because he walks around saying he's his weather forecaster and blah, 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 blah. Who really cares? Let me tell you something. You want to learn something about weather? Come see old Dale. Well, the Dale's here for you. Come on. Yeah, let me get an update on that from later to talk about earlier. Come in. That there's little Jesus, as you remember, he was on my former show. He's just watching out for him. I put him out there as a decoy, you know, just in case the tornado does suck him up. We didn't lose much. That's what I like to think. It's okay. Uh, anyways, so, you know, I was talking to y'all a little bit about William Ains earlier and about how he has his hand radio license. Well, I got my ham radio license. He's kind of, he just don't really know what he's talking about. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shh. Oh, yeah, she's a cook somewhere. Yeah, she's a cookin'. Hold on. Hold on here. Yeah, I think we probably got about like 10 minutes till she touches down. Hold on. Hey there, little Jesus. I think we got ourselves a little tornado cooking over there right outside the school building. We gotta get down. We gotta get down. We gotta get all the people out of here real quick. Come on. <laughs> I said we got a tornado on the right side of the thing, don't we? We gotta get with it, we gotta get with it, we gotta get up people out here, man. Get ball, man, get them all. Okay, that's it. You can't find good help nowadays. You can't find good help nowadays. Now, whenever I say a tornado's coming down, you got F1s, F2s, F3s, F4s, and an F5. You get an F5, that's like a Saturday night out on the town, you know what I'm talking about. That sucker's crazy. She's a whirl whipping and a swirl dipping. We got people going out, we got cows flying around, we got trucks going backwards trying to get away from the tornado. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, look at her. She's gonna come right through there. I think she's gonna come right through here, right there. Call that tornado alley right there between the gym and the schoolhouse. It's crazy, it is crazy out here. I just called the principal, Dr. S.D. Lewis, and I think we ought to get uh, all the school, uh, everybody in the school, in the hallway. It, hold on, hold on. Get inside! Tornado's coming! Kids don't listen nowadays. We got a tornado coming. He's outside. You crazy animal! Get inside! It's crazy. So we're going to get all these kids up here in the hallway. Mm. Holy bejeever! Look at that cow over! She's flying through there! Anyways. Oh, man. We got ourselves a code red there, little Jesus. We got ourselves a code red. We 
we got people rumbling or stumbling in this tornado. She ain't stopping for nobody. She's going to be picking them up and throwing them down. You know what I'm talking about? Now, you got to get everybody inside. I repeat, run around, get everybody inside. Get them inside. There one goes right there. Everyone get inside. Okay, we got one running. We got one running. We got a runner. Here we go. Get inside. She's coming. She really is. I ain't going to lie to y'all out here. You know, I'm a pretty smart guy. I got my education on Phoenix Online. And uh, that's where I learned how to be a weatherman. And also my uncle taught me because me and him, we used to go out in his pickup truck. It was an 82 Chevy, short wheelbase, two-wheel drive with some slicks on the back. That sucker would run blood and stumble. We was going down the road one time and an F5 came sneaking up on my rear end. She started pulling me in. My uncle, he told me, he said, I got a 454 crate engine in this sucker with good spark plugs. I'm going to throw her and drive and we're going to ride. Boy. And I was like, you know, I believe him. I believe him. But me personally, I'd rather have like a 350 crate. He was like, why would you want something like that? I said, uncle, I don't really know much about motors. I'm a mobile lawn tractor kind of man myself. He said, you want a 454 crate and let that sucker stumble and run. Boy, I told you, thank you. Anyways, I'm gonna have to go or we gotta get some lawn tractors all put up over there and I gotta call Luann, you know, make sure she gets all of her good stuff out of the yard, all them cans and stuff she was saving. But uh Thank you for tuning in, Monte County. We hope to see you back next week. Tomahawk TV News, Monte County's only newscast coming at you from Nocona High School.